Okay. Well, uh, welcome to the Carlisle Select Board meeting on Tuesday, May 23rd at 9.30 a.m. This is a virtual only meeting. Um, we do have a, a time right here at the beginning for community input, but I don't believe, is there any uh, community member on the call? Besides? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, so the purpose really is to make two employee appointments. And um, Travis, if you don't mind, I'd love to have you make the first motion, please. Sure. I move that the select board vote to appoint Melissa Roman to serve as the new Council on Aging and Human Services Social Services Manager pending successful salary negotiations and a background check. I have a second. second. Thank you, second. David. So um, you'll see below we have um, a cover letter and then a resume from Melissa. Aubrey, do you want to say a little bit about the process for hiring her? Sure. So uh, there was an interview panel um, and included um, some of the members from COA, Carol and myself. And uh, we had about 22 or more resumes um, that came in. Ooh. A lot of them were very qualified. So it was very impressive. Uh, amount of candidates uh carol helped vet them because that was her position and i think she's the best qualified to help vet who to interview we inter interviewed three uh candidates there were two that were uh very exceptional so i did some uh, reference checks and um melissa's was very glowing and so carol spoke with them and may and helped make that decision ultimate decision and so um, as, as I mentioned, she's already in to just say hello to Miriam and Linda. So she's just very friendly. I think she's going to be a great addition to that team. Excellent. Any questions, uh, Travis or David? No. Okay. Well, hearing none, then uh, we pro yeah we need to do this by um, by roll name, call. whatever roll call. Thank you. <laughs> a little early. <laughs> no, um, all right. So uh, Arnold, all those in favor of the motion, uh, beginning with uh, myself, Arnold I. No doubt I. No I. Motion carries unanimously. And the second motion, Travis, please. I move that the select board vote to appoint Bruce McKee as the DPW driver laborer pending successful salary negotiations and a background check. And we second. also have his, um, oh, thank you, David. Yes, second by David. And we have his uh, resume uh, in our packet um, and a brief note at the bottom of that so any questions or well aubrey do you want to say anything about this particular hire sure so um jim met with him and interviewed him and you know immediately said i i would like to offer him um a position because he was qualified um so he's able to just step right in and, and just get started and it's just in time for the uh spring slash summer season here yeah okay what, He's got what a really interesting salary? background. Uh, um, the salary, I should see in the top of my head. Uh, driver labor, hold on one second, I can tell you. Because they were all adjusted as well, which is great. So starting July 1, let's say driver labor is it will be $25.66 an hour. So it's just under that right now. I think it's $24.95 um, is the starting salary for that. It's interesting. This must be sort of a um, second career, if you will, right? Because his whole resume is all about healthcare. So that's well, so he was a backhoe operator for looks like since 1979. So he's definitely done a lot of that. Well, yeah, because I think, yeah, because he, he did do construction for a while, but it looks like he did backhoe operations while he was working at Brigham Women's. No, that's a, a useful background, right? Though to have that yeah. uh, emergency medicine, medical background. 
Yeah, he probably wants he to never be. has to put it to use with any right. of the guys at the for sure. CBW. Yeah. Okay. He probably wants um, to be closer to home. I would assume uh-huh. instead of having to go into uh-huh. Boston. Yeah. Um, any questions, Travis or David? No. Oh. No, not for me. Okay. So hearing none. Um, roll call vote, please, on this motion. Arnold, aye. Modell, aye. Snell, aye. Excellent. Motion carries unanimously. And is do we have any other business we need to do, Aubrey? No, just okay. because there's just three of you. Uh, we wanted to keep yeah. this short. So I have one. I have one question for Travis. Do you? Uh, you're giving the um, address for Memorial Day. That's I am, point. and I have already spoke to Scott Evans about that and kind of gotten prepared. But a question I have for you is, are either of you going to be attending? He wanted to know for the number of chairs to put out <laughs> on stage. No, um, we'll be in Virginia. Sorry. Okay. Uh, but I'm what sorry. I... Yeah, go, go ahead, ahead, David. Well, the question I have for you, when I did it, Kate and, and Nathan gave me some of the speeches from the past. I have those. I have mine. Do you want any of that? I, I actually had reached out, Nathan had done it most recently and he shared with me his, and then Scott shared me with me uh, something Doug Stevenson had done years ago. So I think I'm all set. All right, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, my phone is ringing. That's for this Monday's Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 10, 10 a.m. in the 9.30 flag raising, 10 a.m. in the Corey Auditorium. Yeah, I, I won't be able to make it either, Travis. Okay. But thank you for doing this. Um, while, while we're on this topic, I know I could do it in email, but uh, did we resolve who was going to speak at Race Amity Day? Because we we talked about it. I and uh, I thought, um, I know this is not on the agenda, but I suppose you, let's you end talked the meeting. about it when? At a meeting? Yeah, we talked about it, I guess maybe either at the last meeting or two meetings ago. It's on, um, uh, let me get it up on my calendar here. It is. Right. It's the 17th or the 24th, I don't right. remember. No, it's the 11th. The 11th. day is on the 11th. Yeah, it's I the second it Sunday again. in June. And I, I mean, right. I could do it again, I'm here, but um, I just, you know, um, Gina Fox uh, had asked me if who from the select board might want to. And since I've done it the last two years, Again, I'm happy to do it again. Um, but what so time David, is it? Uh, you know, it's, that they... it's sort of early afternoon. But again, Travis, I I can do it, or I'll check in with Kate or Nathan and see if they want to. That'd right? be great. But I think you were iffy, Travis, if I recall, right? That's so, the, and I'm looking at my calendar right now. Yeah, that's why I I don't think okay. I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, I I'll do that. Um, I I can follow up on that. So no worries. All right, I guess we should officially close this meeting though before we do any more scheduling. So uh, may I have a motion to adjourn, please? So I moved. Second. Second. Thank you very much. Uh, Arnold, well, I. Mode ally. Snell, I. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we know the order. I, well, at least that doesn't change any. All right, the, mo- the meeting has officially been closed. All right, thank all right. you all. I appreciate it.